A controversial tobacco bill that would take away local government's power to enforce smoking laws is one step closer to reality. The bill passed a House subcommittee with a vote of four to one. News 2's Katie Augustine listened in on that meeting and tells us the decision made by lawmakers. Those behind the bill say laws surrounding tobacco should be regulated at a state level. Meanwhile, opponents of the bill say each city or town should be able to address the problems they're seeing on a local level. The dangers of tobacco presenting themselves on the state floor. These local communities, they need that right to be able to to control what's happening in their cities, in their schools. House Bill 3681 would put the power of legislation in the hands of the state, and those opposed to the bill say the youngest people in South Carolina could suffer. And the tobacco industry is not our friend when it comes to children. The bill specifically targets licensing, ingredients, and flavors of tobacco and vaping products, which often target youth smokers. Blueberry, lemonade, all these things that they are addicted to, and I'm trying to encourage them to stop, but, you know, they can get it at all these products at all these locations. Those in favor of the statewide regulations include tobacco companies. One representative for Reynolds American Tobacco says local control will hurt the state financially. We used two cities, Charleston and Columbia. The impact to uh, state revenue in just those two jurisdictions would be over $12 million. Now that the bill has the subcommittee's approval, it will go to the House Judiciary Committee for another vote. In downtown Charleston, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two.